Hey guys, what's going on today? So, we have a new system in the studio today. This is from a company called SkyTech Gaming. And this is the Archangel 3.0 Tempered Glass. I really don't know much about this system, besides that it is an AMD Ryzen 3700X, 16 gigs of RAM, uh, an RTX 3060, um, unknown what variant, uh, they don't give you that information, and it's running on a B550 motherboard, and again, I don't know what variant that one is either, as well as it is running in the Thermaltake T200 case, and as you can see, unopened completely, so... I don't know all what comes in the mother or what comes in the box. So this, you know, as you can see, I haven't even got into it. This is the first time. Well, right off the top here, we have a little accessory package. Oh, and it also has a 600 watt uh, power supply in it and 16 gigs of RAM. So in the package here, it looks like we have a Wi-Fi antenna, so this does have onboard Wi-Fi. That's good. I mean, if you'd like Wi-Fi. There's the second one. Okay. Um, and I don't know if it's AX Wi-Fi or AC Wi-Fi. Uh, fairly standard power cable. And another little box. What's well, in the box? And it looks like we have a gaming mouse. Oh, let's check. Oh, I like the I like the paracord cable. That is not bad. We got a DPI sensor right here. And I mean, it's kind of a thick weight. I mean, that fits my whole palm really well, actually. Um, you have your forward and back buttons right here. Here's your forward and back. Not free. It doesn't have free will. Free reel. It's kind of smooth to the touch. It has a uh, SkyTech logo right here. They uh, This company is based out of California, from what I know. Um, it is an optical mouse. Uh, it's the SkyTech M1000. Um, I don't know what the DPI is. Well, according to this, it's a CPI. Right here. Good matte black finish though. All right, so we know what's in that box. Put everything here back in this box so we don't lose anything. And this is just an unboxing, uh, not a formal review. That will come later with some testing. Decent, I mean, not too hard of foam but definitely some, you know, it can withstand the impact. Um, it showed up a day early. And the box took some blunt, some blunt damage right over here. Uh, looks like it was hit hard. Uh, we got, looks like we have another box in here. Let's grab that really quick. All right, looks like we have a... 19 key anti-ghosting keyboard with rainbow backlight and a metal bottom case. Ooh, let's find out. Looks possibly like e-waste to me, but we'll find. Mm, we'll find out. I do like the paracord uh, braided cable. 
Uh, yeah, it looks like e-waste to me. This is a full membrane heater. Yep, full membrane. Yay, not. Oh. This will be either A, going to somebody else, because that just feels like hot garbage, or B, it'll just go into the pile of other keyboards. Trust me, I have a few. And if you guys haven't checked it out, I do have a uh, keyboard recommendation on my channel of the uh, Red Dragon K552 uh, Rainbow Edition. Uh, fully mechanical, running uh, Opteron red switches. It is one of the best cameras, or camera, sorry, one of the best keyboards for under $100 that I have found yet. I do, currently I am using a Razer uh, Huntsman Quartz with the uh, Razer Green Switches. Amazing. Um, find out what uh, variant we have, shall we? Looks like we have a gig, ooh, we have a gigabyte card. Uh, looks like it's not, I don't know if it's the Aorus, and uh, we have an Azrock B450, looks like a Steel Legend, but I will dig a little deeper and find out. We have a Cooler Master fan on here, which my other system that I will be comparing this to also has a Cooler Master fan as well. But you know, this is a this is a thermal tape case. Pretty decent airflow on the bottom. The only downside is, is you have one thermal tape fan right here. And then you have three SkyTech RGB ring fans up on the, the two on the top, one on the back. Get you guys a better look here. And these two here are set for exhaust. Same with the one in the back here is set for an exhaust. Um, uh, can I get my iFixit kit, please? It's over there. On the shelf. We're gonna be taking out this uh, graphics card here just in a second to uh, check out what RAM we have. I fix it, not a sponsor. I love this kit. No matter what, this is my go-to for pretty much anything. And whenever you get a pre-build or any sort of system that comes pre-assembled, always, always check the connections. Uh, I don't like that cutout. We have a semi-pass-through uh, design right here. It is a dual axial fan. Uh, two slot, so not too shabby on that one. Let's see if I can get my fat fingers in here to hit the switch. I 
this is the uh, Gigabyte Eagle. Looks like possibly some RGB right here. Um, we have three display. Looks like 2.1 uh, or 1.4 or and a HDMI 2.1. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's a five heat pipe design. It's a, it looks like it's a single BIOS card. Uh, which XP, uh, the Gaming X D10. Uh, just a standard heat spreader. Um, these are 3,000 megahertz, uh, eight by four, uh, hey, wait a second, they only gave me half a kit. Because this is here, eight gig by four, 16 gig dims. And I only got two. What the hell, Skytech? If you're going to provide the RAM for this, you know, yes, this is from XPG, but that, uh, at least... Just put it like a two by eight gig kit, not a full, uh, or or do a full sixteen, uh, eight by four, because people are gonna if okay. At least they inserted them in the right spots, but that right there, that no, because a lot of people if they know what they're talking about or know what they're looking for. There should have been all four dims right here. The cable management, not the greatest. I mean, you could have rout routed that a different way or spun this the opposite direction to where the clip here, because this is using the stock AMD mounting hardware. So this is using the stock AMD mounting hardware here, so it's not an after, you know, it's technically it's aftermarket, but it's not. And they have this cable stretched so far. They got the mustard, ketchup and mustard cables, you got one SATA, and then you have an M.2 Wi-Fi card. This, don't even, I don't even see, oh, yep. You have a Hyper M.2 right here, which I think is Gen 3. Uh, maybe Gen 4. Yeah, it's Gen 3. Um, two, six, uh, two by 16 slots, so you can have your graphics card in either or. Or a high-speed storage in this one here. But all the cables look good. 24-pin, 20, USB 3.0. You got your, looks like a 6-pin up top. What you think, what you think about When you're born into a fire but Let them burn, let them burn it out but Sell them to the richest buyer They wanna let the world decay They tell us lies and fade Did you hear the click? That means it locked in the place. Back in. And then put the ketchup and mustard cable back. I mean, I see that they tried to sleeve it, or this was a sleeve power supply, but is a PNY one terabyte uh, let's see what the power supply is got some uh, so we're just taking off oh, uh, magnetic dust filter look at the cable management let's flip this over it's a thermal tank smart 600 watt uh, 80 plus gold power supply 
Mm. I'm hoping that it can run the uh, the 3060 here. All the cables are ran to, down this nice channel right here. They did a pretty good job of running the CPU power. But I'm probably going to end up redoing this and switching out this power supply for a uh, 80 plus. It's still going to be 80 plus gold, but it's a fully modular uh, RM850 uh, from Corsair. And then you, it looks like you have yep, one removable uh, three and a half inch uh, drive bay down here. On the bottom, you have a full dust filter across the entire bottom. All right. All right, now we're, we are loaded into Windows here. Um, it looks like it comes with some bloatware. It looks like we have remote support. We have contact support. I mean, I'm okay with the uh, ASRock RGB and of course GeForce Experience. Wow, this is only, does this even have, this don't even, this is only running. And I'm back, sorry about that. Had to do a quick update here, but we are in. We have the latest drivers of GeForce for the RTX 3060. Of course, I don't have any games installed because this is a brand new setup. Uh, we are running on driver version 461.92. The release date was 3.16.2021, so not very long. If you guys like the video, please smash that like button, ring a ling that bell, and drop a comment down below if you guys want to see uh, part two of this uh, part two for this video where I'm going to be doing some stress testing and trying to overclock the RTX 3060 as well as the Ryzen 7 3700X to at least 4.7 gigahertz on the CPU and we're going to try to push the G on the CPU and we're going to try to push the GPU to its limits and bring it to its knees and in the process X. Alright guys, thank you for watching and have a great night.